Solution 1. Enable iCloud Backup. Firstly, you need to ensure that iCloud Backup is enabled on your iPhone. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on your Apple ID. Step 2. Tap on iCloud and scroll down to the bottom, then tap on iCloud Backup. Step 3. Make sure that iCloud Backup toggle is switched on. If not, toggle it on. Step 4. Tap on Backup now and wait for the backup to complete. Solution 2. Check the network connection. Next you need to ensure that your iPhone is connected to a stable and fast Wi-Fi network. Reconnect to the Wi-Fi. Step 1. Go to Settings Wi-Fi Forget this network. Step 2. Reconnect by selecting the network and entering the password. Use another Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi network has poor signal or slow speed, you can try using another Wi-Fi network, such as your family or friends Wi-Fi, or public Wi-Fi in places like cafes or libraries. Reset the network settings. If your Wi-Fi network still remains unstable or interrupted, you can try resetting the network settings on your iPhone to restore the default network configurations. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on General. Step 2. Scroll down to the bottom, tap on Reset, then tap on Reset Network Settings. Step 3. Enter your iPhone, unlock Password, then tap Reset Network Settings to confirm. Step 4. Wait for your iPhone to restart, then reconnect to the Wi-Fi network. Solution 3. Restart the iPhone. Step 1. Press and hold the power button on your iPhone until the slide to power off option appears. Step 2. Slide to power off your iPhone and wait for a few seconds. Step 3. Press and hold the power button again until the Apple logo appears. Step 4. Wait for your iPhone to fully restart. Then retry iCloud backup. Solution 4. Make sure enough storage on iCloud or iPhone. Furthermore, you need to ensure that both your iCloud and iPhone have sufficient storage space for backup. If you run out of space, you may receive the prompt iCloud could not complete backup. Check the iCloud storage. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on your Apple ID. Step 2. Tap on iCloud and check your iCloud storage usage. Step 3. If your iCloud storage is full, you can choose to purchase more iCloud storage or delete some unnecessary iCloud data. Check the iPhone storage. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on General. Step 2. Tap on iPhone storage and check your iPhone storage usage. Step 3. If your iPhone storage is full, you can choose to delete some unnecessary apps, photos, videos, music, etc., or transfer some data to your computer. Solution 5. Delete old backups. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on your Apple ID. Step 2. Tap on iCloud and scroll down to the bottom, then tap on Manage Storage. Step 3. Tap on Backups and select the backup you want to delete, such as backups for devices you no longer use. Step 4. Tap on Delete Backup and then tap Turn Off and Delete to confirm. Solution 6. Update the iOS version. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on General. Step 2. Tap on Software Update and check for available updates. Step 3. If there is an update available, tap on Download and Install, then follow the prompts to complete the update process. Solution 7. Log out of iCloud and log back in. Step 1. On your iPhone, open the Settings app, then tap on your Apple ID. Step 2. Scroll down to the bottom, tap on Sign Out, then enter your Apple ID password and tap Turn Off. Step 3. Wait for your iPhone to sign out of the iCloud account, then reopen the Settings app and tap Sign In. Step 4. Enter your Apple ID and password, then tap Sign In. Step 5. Re-enable iCloud Backup, then try backing up your iPhone again. Solution 8. Check the Apple system status. Step 1. On your iPhone, open the Safari browser and visit H's. Wall Apple Com support system status. Step 2. Check the status of the iCloud Backup service. If it's green, the service is running normally. If it's yellow or red, there are issues or the service is unavailable. Step 3. If there are issues or the service is unavailable, you can click on the name of the service to see more information and the estimated recovery time. Step 4. Wait for the service to return to normal, then try iCloud backup again. Mm -hmm.